one thing is important that you can only apply method of undetermined coefficient if the differential equation left hand side is constant coefficient sure i can do that right now i can do that let me see if i have i think i do know the solution of this problem uh, uh, it is exactly same first part is exactly same c1 cosin x plus c2 sin x now since rons can being a 1 here um, that would not come into picture and the sign gets multiplied to integral of the um, right cosecant sign and cosecant would get multiplied so as a result you would have in this situation minus x cosine x plus sine x ln of sine x this should be the answer for this problem when we have constant coefficient in the left hand side then only we can apply method of undetermined coefficients if function f is nice then only we can apply it by nice i mean here is polynomial exponential exponential times polynomial sine cosine sine times polynomial cosine times polynomial these are the possible functions which we are thinking as a nice fellow what was the yp in the answer you mean which one this one what do you think what will be the yp So just the portion lit or uh, the added portion. Okay, very good. So now coming back here, let breaks let me let let me break it in cases. If I have a polynomial, the best way to figure out a guess for a particular solution. Now this method is guessing method, but the way I break down this method in terms of slides here. it's basically no more guessing um with some analysis i have listed down here that if you try to check these things beforehand then you will get a right guess only there is no um there's no chances that you would end up in a wrong guess and what makes that guess to be right is the roots of characteristic polynomial those will help you to make a right guess so if i have this function here so let me start with a with a function say x cube i can pick anything else 3x say uh e to the power 4x plus e to the power say pick x cosine 3x something like this say my right hand side is such a huge function every single thing every single portion of this function is nice this is um f1 right sure sure so but first understand how to even find the guess for a form so this is say you break given a right hand side you break a right hand side into two port into three pieces here so let me add a slide in between because i am currently focusing on procedure here i have to make a guess for f1 which i will call as z1 
and this is a particular solution so let me keep be consistent with my notation ypx is z1 z2x and z3x so in order to guess z1 the form of z1 i will check whether being a polynomial x cube is a polynomial i will check whether zero is a root of a characteristic polynomial or not the characteristic equation associated to the homogeneous part if zero is a root then i will consider it as if yes check the multiplicity what can be the multiplicity multiplicity can be 1 multiplicity can be 2 can it be more than that for second order differential equation for second order differential equation it cannot be it cannot be more than that what is mean by multiplicity can you tell me what is mean by multiplicity right power power like when you factor a polynomial x minus 0 whole to the power power 1 or power 2 so factors factors in, uh, so x is a factor or x square is a factor so if x square is a factor that means multiplicity 2 if x is a factor then multiplicity 1 so if this is a situation my guess will be x times ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d if multiplicity 2 my guess will be x square ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d if no then my guess is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d now why i am picking up the cubic because what is my x fx x cube if it's x cube i will pick a general cubic polynomial and because of multiplicity 1 i will multiply by x because of multiplicity 2 i multiply by x square because of no multiplicity i just take it like a cubic polynomial so this cubic polynomial when we when we will plug in the differential equation we will compare the coefficients and get equations in a b c and d and that's how we solve for a b c d and we will find our particular solution but so far this is a form of a particular solution so for polynomials checkpoint is zero for exponential what is the checkpoint for exponential like this format checkpoint is power here 4 so you will check whether 4 is a root or not of a cp if a 4 is root then you will multiply so this is again then i'm just dealing with this portion here you know what let me just deal with this portion so to find the z2 i will check whether four is a root of cp two possibility no yes then further two possibility 
multiplicity 1 multiplicity 2 and no nothing so here the guess will become ax plus b if it's a linear i will take and by the way we have to always keep constants different we cannot pick the same constant ex plus f e to the power 4x that will be the guess of a particular solution and multiplicity 1 it will be no 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 one this x is just uh, this x is the right hand side fx the one multiplicity is coming out of the left hand side of a differential equation so you will have this differential equation right so this portion will this portion will give you cp characteristic polynomial and you are looking for a multiplicity of a root for a cp here now fx is altogether a different story because i see your point i see that what you are thinking that if a root is repeated then as we have done before x times that is a solution and e to the power that is a solution of our homogeneous portion but for non-homogeneous portion we have to be careful in the careful in taking care of the best way to put it like this that when you plug this back suppose you don't take um, so here this is the right hand side given to you it has no connection with the solution right now it has just a function depending on this function you will you are finding a solution which will satisfy the above differential equation so this is a solution of a differential equation of a non homogeneous differential equation a portion of a solution I, I won't say little more here I will not say because it would be more confusing when I will show through an example you will you will it will click you very quickly now if it is multiplicity 2 um, it will be x square e x plus f e to the power 4x and if it is multiplicity 1 it is x um, e x plus f e to the power 4x and um, for sine and cosine you will check differently right sine and cosine it's a different idea and that's exactly what is written in the slides in the bottom that um, if you have this case you will check whether 1 plus 3i is the root of cp now how does this comes out here this has a connection here with the form i am thinking in my mind cosine beta x so we always check this whether this is a root of cp or not if it is yes and no multiplicity cannot be more than one for a complex root if it's a root of a second different second order differential equation so this guess will be x times uh, g e to the power x cosine 3x plus x times f e to the power x sine 3x and if no 
then no multiplication of x g e to the power x cosine 3x plus f e to the power x sine 3x so this is how you would do it um, sine and cosine comes together if it is instead of cosine it was sine then did we have f on z2 oh i see what your point is take h h all constant needs to be diff different so once this is this the form of a particular solution for the above problem suppose if i give you a problem y double prime plus y is equals to whatever mess we had up let copy that so this whole thing so so if we put all this together here then the form of a particular solution now what are the roots of characteristic polynomial here plus minus i right no no so they are basically we don't have zero as a root here we don't have four as a root here we don't have one plus minus i as a root so this form of a particular solution in this case will be just ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d plus uh, ex plus f e to the power um, 4x plus g e to the power x cosine 3x plus h e to the power x sine 3x. So this is a form. So you how many constants you have? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So many of them. So now the question is how will you find all these constants? You will plug this solution back in a differential equation and compare the coefficients. So right hand side x cube coefficient is 1. So left hand side what is the coefficient of x cube you have to figure out and equate it to 1 x square coefficient on the right is 0 and you have to see what is the coefficient of x square on the left and comparing this you get set of equations for these unknowns and you solve for them and once you have a b c d values you will have a particular solution okay so this is now it is the very very the most difficult basically the problem i picked it up overall containing all these my all of my cases but if you go down and see say this problem here it's so so simple right it's so simple what are the roots of the characteristic polynomial here What are the roots of the characteristic polynomial here? Roots of the characteristic polynomial um, in this case will be, you are right, my, it would be minus 1 and 3. So right, lambda turns out to be minus 1 and 3. So solution y h x, homogeneous solution, is e to the power minus x plus c to e to the power 3x. Right? This is solution. Now step 2 is to find a particular solution. So what is a guess for a particular solution?
that's exactly right very good what's the guess of a particular solution so well um, 3 is here right 3 is here is 3 a root of cp yes it is a root of cp so since it is now the polynomial is a constant polynomial so therefore a constant a times x keeping the independent variable same x e to the power 3x do you agree with this okay now you will see real magic if i plug this solution if if this is a solution of the above problem it should satisfy differential equation right it should satisfy differential equation so this is a differential equation yeah i mean this this, this is what you some of you were asking why multiplying by x and now you will see how this magic x will help us so if i multiply every single if i differentiate and plug this in the differential equation so i am plugging this in the differential equation this solution it is a particular solution so it need to satisfy this differential equation so what is the uh, derivative here double derivative of this so let's do it 3ax e to the power 3x plus a e to the power 3x now derivative of this needs to be done now at least i know what is this plug this back and subtract 3ax e to the power 3x and equate it to 2e to the power 3x don't forget to equate it to the right hand side okay so then what's going to happen everything everything will you will start seeing how easily coming out okay um so this is e to the power 3x plus 9a a x e to the power 3x plus 3a e to the power 3x minus 6ax e to the power 3x minus 2a e to the power 3x minus 3ax e to the power 3x is equals to 2e to the power 3x now what hap what is happening what is the real magic here much 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 more than that what is a real magic here take out e to the tx no i am not going to do that before that i can see something is happening here aha 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 all these terms containing x just automatically go away disappears boom they're gone 3 plus 3 6 6 minus 2 4 so 4a e to the power 3x is equal to 2e to the power 3x yep and now you can see how they can be just um going away and now what is a a is just one half so see the magic here gone now if you have not taken here x your a will disappear here and you would say whoa, whoa, whoa what what i am doing my a is gone and the reason is the guess was not right but now it's no more a no more like a guess i already gave you a trick here that once roots start messing up with the right hand side 
once the roots of the characteristic polynomial starts messing up with the right hand side function some way we have to make the solution more powerful so that that messing does not happen and it just falls apart it just basically get cleared up all this messing thing right so so if you have not multiplied with x the solution of the associated homogeneous pro problem will become more powerful than the right hand side and it will start dominating it in some way so you want to take care of both of the sides you want to have a piece here and that's what happens when you multiply by x okay so it's this is what is you have to do okay at any rate so you get a solution now y p x is such a nice function x e to the power 3x so you add it to your solution to get a general solution of non homogeneous problem e to the power if a cancels out you guess wrong right because we don't have a anything here and right hand side we have something so how we will find a we are not getting a value of a then right so that's how, that's the reason guessing comes wrong so what were the roots of the characteristic polynomial i remember you gave it to me this one right so this is the answer so now you obtained the answer general solution of a non homogeneous problem so you start learning how to solve non homogeneous problem calculation gets harder when you have to have more constants and comparing the coefficient but if you have such a nice function on the side e to the power x or those things then you can handle this by this method easily okay i will give you one last proper and um, i will type them out in the but because of time constraint and i and i would encourage you to and reason is it's given form here form so you know what are the roots you just now gave it to me the roots of here roots were minus 1 and 3 then if you start writing the form of a particular solution what is it exactly exactly if lhs root has is appearing on the exponential or um sine cosine those things you have to take care of those by multiplying with the multiplicity oh this one is different than the previous one oh i see oh i see oh yeah oh yeah that's right it's 2 and 1 okay so 2 and 1 would be the 2 and 1 would be the root of this so well um so first one would be what ax square plus bx plus c can i take it for this one okay no minus not minus 2 minus 1 factors would be factors involve minus 2 but when it, otherwise it will come out to be 2 and 1 okay so what about this one you have here d plus um ex so what i am doing right now i am merging these two one is a root one is a root i have to be careful i have to multiply this by x 
multiplicity of this one is one so it would be e to the power x what about this one okay you tell me what about this one tell me how will i handle this last one do i need to multiply with anything no right x i do not have to multiply okay that's exactly right so this is the answer of this example so i only multiplied by x in the exponential one because e to the power was there why not the first term you mean this one well zero is not a root we check zero for polynomials we check zero this is a polynomial 2x square is polynomial so we will check whether zero is a root of this zero is not so i will just take a quadratic that's right um okay so if you are